Now, let's see what the steps are to configure SCG first. Uh, the first thing we need to configure is to instruct SCG to route traffic, incoming traffic, to the Office 365 uh, instance. In order to do this, I go to Mail Domains and Routing, Email Routing, and here for Domain Safe Relay, .NET the messages will be relayed to safe relay dash net I'm not going to use the uh, DNS option because the MX record of uh, domain safe, rel safe relay dot net is the SEG so I would have the email going back and forth okay now the next thing we need to configure on SEG is to uh, define which Office 365 uh, servers are allowed to relay emails uh, through the SEG for uh, that domain, for our domain. So I'm going to connections. Here I have the internal mail servers uh, connection profile. The relay is set to full. This means that uh, the uh, members of this connection profile are allowed to relay messages and uh, since we don't know which uh, server from the Office 365 pool is going to be used each time to send message Okay, so this means that uh, all servers with host name that ends to uh, outbound.protection.outlook.com are allowed to relay uh, emails for uh, saferelay.net domain. And I'm going to enable uh, mandatory TLS connections in order to make sure that all communication between the SEG and the Office 365 service is uh, encrypted so no eavesdropping can take place and for the mandatory TLS I'm going to use just TLS version 1.2 which is uh, the safest for the TLS communication cy cipher strength I'm going to leave medium and uh, I will require certificate validation and that the uh, canonical name will be this one here for inbound connections I'm going to enable mandatory TLS I will require a valid client certificate the CN of the certificate must match this value here and I can also enable matching of uh, the CN for the certificate for the certificate of the issuer um, I'm going to leave it blank for the moment so I'm going back to routing and for that domain when sending emails to that domain I'm going to use the TLS configuration that is configured in the internal mail server email servers uh, connection profile. Now the next thing to do is go to email addresses and 
here in my company email address list I have to make some changes because by default the secure email gateway uh, considers that uh, anything uh, that ends to at saferlay.net uh, is considered a valid uh, internal user so I'm going to remove that and I'm going to add only my valid uh, email addresses that have been configured in the Office 365 uh, environment I'm going to change the name of the email address, address list and add this comment here okay the next thing to do is to make sure that no other um, external Office 365 accounts can spoof emails, uh, can send spoof emails through our secure email gateway. In order to do so, we will configure uh, the Office uh, 365 in uh, the Exchange uh, configuration to add an X header to all outgoing messages, and uh, this X header will be checked by the secure email gateway and if it is present then it means that the email originated from our own uh, Office 365 instance otherwise it is if it's not present then it means that someone who is using the Office 365 account is spoofing our domain so let's see how this can be accomplished. I'm going to lexical expressions list. I'm going to make a new expression list. I will name it Office 365 Valid Center Header. The threshold I'm going to leave it the default and here in new I'm going to put the value of the X header which uh, is going to, which it can be whatever you wish for the demonstration I'm going to use this one O three six five twenty 19 and the trigger will be instant so uh, in the content rule that we are going to build uh, later when this expression is uh, detected the triggered the rule will trigger instantly. Before going to the rule I'm going to make a new quarantine to hold messages that f will fail uh, this check so messages that are trying to spoof our domain and come from office other Office 365 instances Invalid sender header. And now I'm going to make the lexical expression rule. Detect lexical expression.
detect valid center here is the expression list that we are going to use the trigger will be this less or uh, no force trigger and the it will look for a specific header which will be let's make this one and the disposal action will be to hold the message in the quarantine we just created and I'm going to add this rule to the outgoing route So what have we accomplished with uh, this rule? If there is an email that comes from an Office 365 server, the header from has an email address belonging to saferelay.net domain and it doesn't have the, this message header with the value we configured earlier, then this is a spoof attempt and the mail message will be blocked and now we are going to apply the configuration okay now we are done with uh, configuration of a secure email gateway and let's go to continue the configuration with the Office 365. Let me just change the language. Okay, the first step is to create a connector that will redirect all outbound email to the SCG uh, server. So we go to connectors so for all messages originating from Office 365 to a partner organization let's name the new connector office 365 to SEG this connector will be used when there is a transport rule we are going to set up the rule right afterwards and we'll use a smart host the SEG to route these emails so here I'm going to uh, put the host name of my uh, secure email gateway instance. In uh, here in the transport uh, layer security, I'm going to enable. It. I want uh, uh, the communication to be encrypted, but I will select any digital certificate including self-signed certificates in my uh, SEG I have not deployed a trust uh, a certificate uh, issued by a trusted uh, certificate authority I'm using the default certificate uh, in a production environment you will want to have a trusted certificate so you will go with the second option but for the demonstration this will be 
are OK. And here in the validation, we add an email to see if uh, the connector works OK. The smart host validation started. There are three steps. Okay, so this is complete. The next step is to create a rule that will use uh, this connector in order to uh, route all outgoing emails to the SEG. So we're going to create new rule. I'm clicking on uh, more options and this rule will be named sent outgoing through SEG. This rule will be applied when the center is inside the organization and when the recipient is outside the organization. And what we are going to do first, we are going to add a message header. Remember the previously we uh, configured the SEG to search for a specific message header and for a specific value in order to understand if the outgoing message is coming from our own Office 365 instance or it is a or if it is a spoof attempt. This is the header and this is uh, the value Office 365 2019 zero, uh, zero 05 and we'll add another action which will be to redirect the message using the connector we configured. Okay, the next step is to create another connector in order to uh, for Office 365 to accept messages from a secure email gateway. So we go back to connectors. So this will be applied for emails from partner organization to Office 365. This is the name of the new connector and I'm going to use the public IP address of my secure email uh, gateway which is this one here we uh, enable mandatory TLS but we do not check this option here because uh, our the certificate of the secure email gateway is self-signed okay now let's see what uh, have we accomplished. Now this is the demo one user of the uh, saferelay.net domain. So I'll try to send an email to a Gmail account. And let's go back to my SEG to see what happens. Now, this is the email I, say I sent. This is 
an IP address uh, of a server from Office 365 uh, pool the connection used TLS encryption and the email was sent through the outgoing route to Gmail and if I go to my Gmail this is the mail I sent let's click on reply test incoming and sent back to message tracking okay and now we see that uh, the email we sent from uh, gmail was routed through the SEG to saferelay-net.mail.protection.outlook.com and here it is in the user's uh, mailbox One great thing that uh, you can do with uh, Office 365 and Secure Email Gateway is to route all your internal Office 365 emails via the SEG. So it will be possible to uh, apply internal email security and uh, DLP policies uh, through the uh, SEG routes. In order to do this, the first step is to configure a new mail policy route uh, that will process these uh, internal email messages so I'm going to create a copy of uh, the default outgoing uh, route and in the traffic endpoints I'm going to edit and uh, in the route selector I will check messages originating from my company valid users sent to again to my company valid users and here in the uh, rule in the rules list uh, you can configure other rules or keep the same uh, rules this is something that uh, you can do at according to your uh, internal policies one thing that you will need to configure here is uh, a way for office 365 to identify that this internal mail uh, has already been scanned by SEG and it must not be forwarded to SEG but it must be delivered to uh, uh, the mailbox of the internal user so I'm going to add an X header for all messages that are being processed by this rule and this is done by using the all traffic rule I'm going to name it scanned by SEG in the what to look for I have nothing to configure but in the what to do I'm going to choose the perform no action I don't want it I don't want this rule to determine if the message is going to be uh, delivered or if it's going to be quarantined what I want is to add a message header let's call it x internal and the value would be 
seg scant and I'm applying the configuration great now I must go back to the exchange admin center and edit the rule that the routes or outgoing messages through SEG so I'm going to delete this condition here so this means that uh, all, out, all messages sent by an internal user will be routed to SEG no matter who the recipient is but I will add an exception here so if the message header includes one of these words condition the X header is X internal and the value would be will be SEG scant so this rule will send to SEG all outgoing messages except those who have this header with this value I'm saving it okay let's see how this works so uh, I have uh, demo one user who will send an email to demo2 at saferelay.net this is test internal okay let's see what message tracking shows here and we see that the message has been relayed uh, by the exchange servers the recipient is the internal user the message is processed by the new address route that we created and it has been delivered back to the office 365 infrastructure and just let me log in with demo2 account and here is the message that we just sent so this is how you can configure Office 365 to send internal messages to ICG in order to be uh, scanned by ClearSwift Secure Email Gateway thank you for watching us if you have any question please send them to the email you see on the screen